Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we will be reviewing Ramona Russell's Zodiac. If you guys have been enjoying this content I've been putting up on the channel, please don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment. Also, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I drop my next video. If you guys missed my last week's book review, I will leave a link up to it in the cards so you can go watch that. If you guys have any book reviews you want me to do in the future, please do not be afraid to drop those down in the comments. Also, you guys might have seen I have a new setup going on, so again, please, please bear with me as I try and work out all the kinks. If you guys have any suggestions for what I should do, I would love to read those down in the comments. As always, format for the book review, summary of the story, pros, cons, and then my final thought and ranking. So, with all that out of the way, let's hit the intro. <music> follows 16 year old Ro who lives in what's called house cancer and in this world all of these houses are based on our human zodiacs so obviously each house is represented by one of the zodiacs. Ro lives on house cancer. One day Ro is just living her life doing her thing until a massive dark matter attack decimates her entire planet. She and a couple of her friends are some of the only survivors that make it out out of the attack. So soon after the attack, Ro is pushed into the leadership of her house and they call them guardians. So Ro at 16, which is like one of the youngest guardians, becomes a guardian of her entire house. Ro's main mission as guardian is to try and figure out who orchestrated the dark matter attack and her second objective is to rally all the other houses together to try and combat whatever this threat ends up being. As she's going on her mission, she starts to learn things about the Zodiac's past that are really, really important into figuring out who did this attack. <laughs> Starting off our pro section, we have our protagonist, Ro. So I really like Ro as a protagonist because Russell writes Ro super well. You can honestly really feel for Ro because she's put into a leadership position of her entire people at 16, which is just insane. And you really start to feel for her uncertainty and just her overall lack of experience. And you really feel for this girl who's been thrown into this position and you really empathize with her with her fear and just her general anxiety and I feel like it's a really good credit to Russell's writing that we're able to connect with her this well throughout the entire book. So I also love how Ro develops through the entire story. In the beginning of it she's really like unsure of herself. Why the heck did they pick me of all people to become a guardian. I'm 16. I should not be in this position. But as she slowly starts to go through the story, she realizes, okay, I'm the guardian now. I cannot put my own selfish needs. I need to put my problems aside and work for the betterment of the house. And I feel like it's a really good, uh, just logical build up to building her up to be the guardian we all know she can be. And it's really rewarding just to see her develop from the shy, timid girl at the beginning to the confident guardian that she ends up being at the very end of the book. Pro number two for this book is the lore that this book had. I absolutely love it. So the concept of this book alone just sells me. The humans have gotten to the stars and have colonized different planets and moons and all sorts of stuff, and they name each of their systems after the various zodiacs. That alone sells me because I'm a big astronomy fan and I just love all that concept and writing an entire series about it I would totally be down to read that and I am really not disappointed that I did I I think this is a really good series if anyone's an astronomy fan like you could just read this and you'd find out you'd enjoy all the lore and stuff that they use in this series from each of the zodiac signs <laughs> off with con section. Despite what I just said, how the lore is amazing, I wanted more of the lore, and I'll explain in a second. Despite what I just said, I do believe all the lore that Ramona Russell was able to use in the first book is incredible. 
I love it. I just wanted more. And that's probably just my lore junkie coming out. I want to continuously be learning stuff about the world. And I know Ramona Russell has to develop all the characters, but I really just want really good lore dump and just able to really sink my teeth into this world. I love a good lore dump, like I said, but despite that, what we get in the book is really good. I just feel like there could have been a bit more and I would have, uh, despite what I'm saying about more lore, what we get in the book is really good. Right, final thought and ranking here. Again, I would highly recommend this book to anyone who is a big astronomy or astrology fan. I would totally, totally recommend this book. It is really good. The characters are compelling, as I said, with Ro, and even the side characters are pretty interesting. I'm not going to spoil anything in case you do want to read the book, but I really do like this book as an, just on its concept and its face. It's really interesting. Again, if you guys have any astronomy fans, uh, just recommend this book to them. I am fairly sure they will like it. So I'm going to give Zodiac by Ramona Russell an 8 out of 10. Alright guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. It really means a lot to me. If you've been enjoying this content, please don't forget like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss my videos. Alright guys, if you have read this book before, I would love to hear your own reviews on it. So if you have, please do not be afraid to drop your review down in the comments. Okay guys, for next week, I am still going to be on our Kingdom Keepers break. So next week, we will be reviewing RF Khan's Dragon Republic. Alright guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys have a great week and don't forget, keep on reading.